Welcome back, Kitty Chanley here, and today I'm going to show you how to install TerraFirmaCraft Beta Build 77, whatever hotfix is recent, for Minecraft 1.6.2. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you where to download the files that you need. You'll only need two files. The first one, you'll go to terraformacraft.com. You can click on this download tab, and then you'll just click download here. And the other thing that you're going to need is Minecraft Forge. And you can see here on the site that they're telling that they're telling you what version you'll need to use of Forge. So the fastest way to get that is you're going to want to go to files.minecraftforge.net. From there, you'll want to scroll down the page until you find the version that we're using, which is 837, and then you'll want to download the installer. All right? After you have both of those files downloaded, as you can see that I have here, you'll want to start with a brand new Minecraft install. So you'll want to go to your .minecraft folder, which is most likely located at appdataroaming.minecraft. And if you have any saves or worlds that you want to make a backup of, in case you ever want to play them again, you'll want to copy them and move them someplace else. And then you'll want to take that whole folder and delete it. Yeah, it's scary, but if you don't delete it, you're going to end up with some like ID conflicts or other kind of weird crashes just because of the whole new way that Minecraft works with the new 162 launcher. So go ahead, back that up, make a copy of it, put it someplace else, delete the whole folder. All right, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to want to go ahead and run your Minecraft launcher. So you can see here that I'm logged in and you'll want to just run it once on vanilla. It's going to go ahead and get your whole profile and everything set up. Okay, so now that we've got it, it's going. We've got the Mojang. Once you get to the screen, go ahead and hit quit game. The next thing you want to do is you want to go back to where you downloaded your two files and you'll want to double click the Minecraft Forge installer. Now if you have WinZip or WinRAR installed, it's very possible that you'll see this icon next to the installer instead of this little coffee cup. If you do that, if you do see that, you want to go right click it, open with, and then you want to make sure that you're running it with Java. So we've got our installer. The first thing that we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and click Install Client. Make sure that it's pointing at our app data, roaming.minecraft, or wherever you have decided to install Minecraft, and hit OK. It's going to show that it's downloading some libraries here. And then we'll get this pop-up message, successfully installed client profile Forge for version Forge 9.10.0.837 into launcher and grabbed two required libraries. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to want to run Minecraft again. So grab that get that launcher back up and going. And now when it says loading profiles, where it says Kitty Chanley, it'll say your username for whatever you've logged in. You'll want to click Forge. And then you can hit Play. So we got Forge. Um, TFC does require a bit more memory than standard vanilla Minecraft is used to, so it might help if you use JVM ar arguments and you set that you check that and you set that max to either one gig or in my case I use two gigs and I use the same command but the, sec or the second X is an S instead and I set my minimum to one gig. Okay, this is entirely optional. It depends on your computer. Um, if you're running 32-bit Minecraft, like 32-bit, your operating system is 32 bits, you'll only be able to set that max to one gig. It won't work. Um, but otherwise, I mean, you can kind of play around with it, set it to what you want to set it to. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and save profile. We're going to run this one more time just to get Forge going. Okay. 
Okay, so now you can see that we've got Forge installed. Those three mods, that's MCP, FML, and Minecraft Forge. Once again, go ahead, quit game. Now you'll take that TFC zip that you downloaded off of our website, and you'll just copy it, and you'll go to dot .minecraft, and you'll have your mods folder, and you'll paste it in there. You don't want to unzip anything, you don't want to mess around with any of that, just copy, paste, you're done. Okay, now that that's in there, we'll run Minecraft one last time. Make sure our profile is set to Forge, and hit play. Give it a couple minutes, possibly depending on the speed of your system to get the initial startup going. And we can now see that we have four mods loaded, four mods active. I'll go ahead and create a new test world. And as you can see from our health bar and from the fancy rocks on the ground that we have successfully installed Terra Firmacraft. So, thanks for watching. Bye!